2010 CMA Awards are on and, and having fun and still <laughs> acting like you did many years ago. With us right now is Mr. Aaron Tiffin. Welcome to the show, Aaron. <laughs> He's doing the ball and cup game right now. Come on. It, ah. it doesn't work north of the border in Mexico, you know? Oh, no wonder. I've got something in the end there. Hey, uh, welcome to the show. And you know what? I have to say that you are probably one of the more fit country artists that we've come, had come through here. Are you working out like all the time? Have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm an old guy. I gotta do something to keep up. Look at all these young whippers snapping in. Well, you see these guys, you know, coming around. Yeah, it's, come, it's easy for these guys to be in shape when you're that day. You know, it falls apart quick if you're not careful. But you've always been in shape. Well, I, I enjoy it. I always have enjoyed it. So, you know, I just like to do it. I always get it tough to do. You know, I have to pay more attention to, to how hard I hit it. You know, I can't go in there and go to max bench anymore and max squat. I'll, I'll break something. <laughs> it takes forever to heal. You know, and, and, as you're doing this, have you slowed down on your love for wine? No, of course not. Uh huh. Let's talk about your wine. No, oh, man, I'm still loving wine. As a matter of fact, uh, this, uh, probably I just looked up with some guys out in California, New Vineyard, that I just found. And uh, I'm gonna, I, I bought a ton of grapes to do the fresh out there. And next year, I go out and start the process of helping with that. Do my first big red. So maybe in two, three years, I'm gonna have a hair picking. You know, Aaron Tippin uh, is, is a big fan of wine, but he also one time had a store in New York. Oh, yeah, I'll do a store and I don't have that anymore. Well, that was a lot of well, That's what I was going to ask you, you know, being a country artist and a country star and then having a store on the side, too. I mean, too much, too much. That's why, you know, I'm with the car wash and that, because I wouldn't spend any time with me and the boys, so, you know, I, I didn't work. Well, I was mad because you invited me a while back to go out to the store, and then all of a sudden I found out that the store wasn't open anymore, and I was getting, getting ready to go out there. And I said, well, I already shut a store down. <laughs> we heard your cowboy say, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I took it personal. I thought maybe it was me. <laughs> you still spend a, quite a of time on the road. How many shows do you do? Uh, you know, not as many as I used to. You know, I just I don't want to get out there and like I used to. You know, I want to do 75, you know, 60, 75, 80, something like that. That's about all. But still one of the most entertaining shows out there. Well, You're thanks. Tremendous. Well, it's fun. We still put together bikes and tours and times. Right. You know, and that's fun. You know, I think we put together a little bit of the Oh, my gosh. You know, uh, are you still flying a lot, too? All I can. You know, I fly all I can. I get all my drag ball out. Take my patch, put them back in. <laughs> How many flying planes do you have? Now? <laughs> Just acquired a new one, so it was four flying. Okay. Now, are they all prop planes? Have you got any jet streams yet? No, no jet. <laughs> no jet. I didn't know if you were flying around on you know, like one of these big executive jets. No, so, no. Uh, I don't have one of those, man. That's just a little bit of a price for me. Right, yeah. Jet fuel, man. That thing's yeah. burning up. Oh, yeah. 50 gallons an hour or something like that. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about what you're doing with the Governor Ray Cox. Oh, we're doing the uh, War Play album, which is an album to raise funds for us, really, kids, okay. to, so that they can learn to play music. It is a very sad state right now when you hear the news that this school or that school is shutting down their music programs. Well, that's where it always starts, you know, that's where it always starts. And, and it, you know, but it's just got to be cut, I guess, you know, and I understand that. But, you know, right. I think this is the cool thing about this is, is uh, okay, so they're going to cut it. Right. We're going to take this in our own hands and make sure the kids are going to play the entertainment. Your career has opened up a lot of doors for things that you've wanted to do in your life. You know, like talking about the world and flying and stuff like that. Uh, is there one thing still yet that Aaron Tiffin would love to do that he hasn't got a chance to do yet? You know, Aaron, this late old age, I'm going to jump. Jump? Jump on where? Oh my God. I don't know where that came from because I've been a pilot all my life and the old saying is you never get out of a perfectly good airplane. I wore, I wore a parachute, I guess, 1,500 hours of my flying career, but uh, but I never once thought about jumping out of that machine. Okay. And, uh, but now I decided I want to do it. Oh, man. Is everybody okay with that? 
not good PR. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I'll just leave there. Well, it's right there. Okay, we're going to do a game, and it's called the CMA Showdown. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. And you're competing against all the other country artists that have come out I'll get those so. rounds. And here's how this works. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the third questions I've asked you rapid fire. You've got to answer as many as you can within 10 or 30 seconds. Each question is worth a point. You get extra points for three. Okay. Are you ready? Mr. Aaron Tiffin, your CMA showdown begins in three, two, and one. Aaron, what's your favorite morning radio show? Scrubs. Do you watch your own music videos? Of course. Country star you wish you were? Me. <laughs> your favorite smell? Me. Your hometown? Smith. <laughs> no, no, Liberty. What was the name of your first pet? Um, Micah. What's your favorite cereal? How old were you when you had your first kiss? Uh, nine. Team Jacob or Team Edward? Edward. If I could do one thing over, I would. Over you. You would over me? I have a song call. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, that's our 30 seconds. How many did we score there? Probably? A total of 10. 10 respectable. Very nice job. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what would you want to take off of our table if we did man? The Whopper candle? Ah, Whopper candle looks pretty good. Uh, the, the bottom cup? Oh, the Whoopi cushions. <laughs>